Okay, good morning and uh, welcome to the uh, November meeting of Sin Club. And if I could begin by asking our executive director, Michael Birdman, to take the role. Sure. Um, Rita Picar. I'm here. Philip Raymond. Here. Stanley Spitzer. Here. Jay Baymel. Here. Michael Rackman. Here. Beverly D'Amico. Here. Susan Dove. Here. And I'm Mike Birdman, Executive Director, and with us, as always, is Norma Taylor, Director of Property Management for Bay Management. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to our Zoom meeting. Um, I have not seen the reporter, but those of you that have, I'm assuming our minutes appeared in them. And can I have a motion to accept them as written in the uh, newest reporter by someone who read them preferably? Jay? I make a motion to accept the minutes as printed in the uh, issue of the reporter. And uh, Susan? Uh, second. Thank the you motion. very much. All in favor? Okay, we'll accept those minutes. So check out your most recent reporter. Correspondence, we're going to save that till the uh, towards the end of the meeting. And uh, I'm just going to do a little welcome, and I hope that uh, all of you are doing well during these very strange times. Please know that uh, our board and our staff of Send Club are working hard to provide interesting programs for our residents, all while doing our best to keep everyone healthy. Actually, this past week, we had our first Zoom paint and sip activity, which was quite successful. And uh, if you missed it, you can go online and uh, enjoy that. Get yourself some paints and probably could even paint a little bit. Uh, we're trying to come up with innovative ways to keep everybody entertained and busy. And on that note, on November 18th, we're going to have music over at the gazebo. And some of you will recognize our uh, star singer. There is uh, Kelly, who used to be an MC here. And in the past few years she's been our hostess for our so successful talent show so she has a beautiful voice her husband is one of the musicians that also um you've seen before so grab a chair grab a blanket grab your mask we'll still socially distance but i think you'll enjoy out at the gazebo a little entertainment i think mike am i correct in saying that's at 4 30 in the afternoon Bring a cocktail, bring a beverage of some sort. Yes, 4.30 to 5.30. It's going to be an okay. hour. Great, thanks. Um, then keep those chairs handy because we will be having an outdoor movie on December 28th. And as long as you social distance, any guests will be welcome to join you. Because it will be outside in our parking lot as we have had in the past. And I also want... To let you know that we've posted on our Send Club website under documents an update on our real estate purchase. So those of you that have uh, been sending in some questions to us, please check under documents on our website. And there's great, I hope if you think, uh, explanation of what, what's happening, what's going on. And yes, we do own our facilities. Also, please remember that elections are coming up. Sen Club has two openings and Master Management has four. You need to get your applications in ASAP, like tomorrow, I think. Um, you can get an application online in the staff office at Master Management, just about anywhere. In the so reporter please. as well. And in the reporter as well? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, and that's all I'm going to say right now. We'll get back to you at the end of the meeting. Now I'm going to ask for our treasurer's report from Mr. J. Bay Mel. Thank you, Rita. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, at the end, uh, this is for the month ended October 31, 2020. Uh, at the end of September, uh, our balance in our operating account was $561,942. Wow. 
During the month of October, we collected 905,085, and we dispersed during October $786,280, which included a, a, um, a loan payment of 388,518. Consequently, at the end of October, in our operating checking account, we have a balance of $680,747. When you add that uh, to a second small checking account of $62,510 and two petty cash accounts that aggregate $5,429, we have total operating cash of $748,686. To that, we have our money market of $900,921, which is uh, going to be our beginning reserve balance as of October 1, as we discussed last uh, month. Some of the highlights. Uh, on October, on or about October 1, we made a payment number 10 to the sellers of the recreation property for 388518 At the end of October, the mortgage balance was 777036 which represents two payments. Uh, on or about November 1, we paid another 388518 that was payment number 11. We're 92% home. We've made 11 of the 12 payments. One payment more due December 1. Accounts receivable went down by about $4,000 from 333,409 to 329,421. There were some small reductions in the current and 60 day past due balances. Uh, the over 90 past due remains unchanged from September. Going back to the high point this year, which was the end of March, when we had 406,383 in accounts receivable to our present 329,421 that represents a 19% reduction in those months. We are continuing our collection efforts with vigor and certainty as we assert new liens and pursue and strengthen our foreclosure actions. Total assets at the end of October was 6 million 620,500, down from 6,885,123. Liabilities, 1,425,950, which includes the 777,036 due at the end of October, representing two months payments on the loan. Make no mistake, let me clarify again, because we pay at the first of the month, right now as we're sitting here on November 10th, we owe one payment of 388,518. Um, liabilities are down from last month, uh, which was 1,660,554. Send Club members equity, just an accounting, difference between assets and liabilities is 5,194,550, down slightly from uh, the balance uh, of 5,224,569 at the end of September. Are there any questions from the board? Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Seeing no one having their hand up, I'll ask for a motion that we accept the treasurer's report as given. I make the motion. Thank you, Stanley. Second. And Phil, you'll second it. All in favor, accept it to the report. Okay, once again, thank you for all your work, Jay. Appreciate it. And we'll move on to the executive director's report, Michael Bourbon. 
Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Rita. Excellent reports. Um, I'm going to start with my coronavirus operations update. At the time of writing this message, no changes have been made regarding our rules and operations during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'll continue by reminding the community of our current protocols and on operations at the clubhouse and recreation facilities. Clubhouse is open, normal operating hours with all offices open. Only residents are permitted in the clubhouse at this time. Guests are not permitted into any recreation facilities, including the swimming pools until further notice. We're always closely monitoring the latest news and alerts from the city, county and state, and we act accordingly as we phase in new rules and restrictions for our area. The clubhouse swimming pools continue to be open for residents only. Monitored, monitored, swimming, and, monitored swimming and cleaning of the pool deck and equipment continues between each session. Residents can sign up at the clubhouse staff office or online at sendclub.com. Hours at the satellite pools have been increased. The satellite pools are open for residents only from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Some of the furniture has been restored to the pool desks, uh, decks on a limited basis as per county orders. Both security and Sun Club employees are monitoring the swimming pools throughout the day. Please remember that masks are required when not in the pool. As a reminder, swimming pools are open for residents only. No guests and children are permitted. If you are caught on the pool deck with a guest, not wearing your mask, if you bring children's with, children with you, you will be asked to leave. We are recording the names of those people who are breaking the rules. And after three times, you're out, we take your ID and uh, you can't use the pool for 30 days. So please make sure you're following the rules. It's not, it's for the safety of the residents. We wanna make sure that we're providing the safest possible experience here for residents. We want the people who live here to feel comfortable using the facilities. It's extremely important and it's only fair. So help us help you and do your part and follow the rules, please. The Clubhouse Fitness Center is open for residents with reservations. One hour sessions continue to be in place so that our janitorial staff can clean and disinfect the machines after each use. Group fitness classes have been moved to online Zoom platform from which you've had great feedback with thousands of residents participating. And this goes back to, I think April, April or June, we started phasing in the Zoom platform for um, the fitness classes and it's been very well received. Tons of residents are using it, even people in Canada and all over the country and even outside of the country, they're able to log in and visit and with their instructors and their fellow residents and take the classes that they normally would take here. So if you're not doing that now, please log in and check it out. It's really a great experience and an awesome benefit you get uh, with your recreation fees here. Our clubhouse art studios are open for residents with a capacity limit for social distancing. To use the art facilities, stop by the staff office and exchange your CVD, CVE ID card for a, uh, a hall pass or a or studio pass that you wear around your neck while you're using the facilities. That way we make sure that the people who are in there aren't exceeding the number of guests in that, in that space to make sure that it's a safe environment and people could be within the social distance parameters. The billiards room and ping pong room are open for play with restrictions. Equipment at the tables, equipment and the tables in both rooms are being kept to a minimum and residents, residents are asked to use their own sticks and paddles if they have them. You're also required to wear a mask in those rooms while you're playing. Our clubhouse movies continue to play on our normal schedule in the party room. The room is set for social distance seating and clean before and after each use. Please find the newest movie schedule on our website or in print at the staff office. And as a reminder, there is limited seating capacity and residents will be let in on a first come first serve basis. Food and drink will not be allowed in the party room, bottled water only. And I have seen people sneaking in the hard candies. Just, you know, don't drop the wrappers on the floor. <laughs> Only current residents will be able to attend movies. Please make sure you have your CV, CVE ID card with you as the staff will be checking them. And as always, face coverings are required while in the clubhouse. And um, just please make sure you wear those. We'll move on to our clubhouse and recreational updates and improvements. I'd like to start by welcoming Old Florida Cafe to Century Village. Randy and Barbara had a fantastic opening day on November 1st. The reviews have been fantastic. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, please do so. Delivery and pickup is also available, including Thanksgiving dinner. For just $19.99, you get a huge Thanksgiving meal with all the trimmings. More information is available on the website, and we've been sending the emails out. If you have any questions, just call the diner, and they will be happy to help you out. And um, I know several of the board members have eaten there, and 
I've just heard nothing but great reviews. The soups are fantastic. They have uh, frozen soups and some things to go in the coolers there. And it's a huge wide variety of food. And it's, um, I think it's been a, uh, a pleasant improvement here. In preparation for a restaurant opening, we completed several small projects at the building. We repaired the audio system so residents can enjoy music while, while they eat, as well installed new security camera to cover the outdoor patio and the north end of the clubhouse pool. We also pressure washed the patio area and the outdoor furniture. Our staff office is now offering a fold-out portable badminton set for residents to enjoy. The clubhouse has been getting requests for badminton as an activity for some time now. You asked and we listened. We'll continue to explore the options of a permanent net somewhere on property if we see the need based on the use of this uh, portable system. Carpeting in several areas of the clubhouse, including the stairwells, have been steam cleaned. As a reminder, as always, it's an important to be a part of our email list. We send updates and important information about events, classes, activities, when we have storm alerts and changes to our schedules. Um, as a reminder, you can join now by uh, stopping by the staff office and filling out the form or at sendclub.com. You just click on there, click join the mailing list, enter your email and you'll be automatically added to our list. We send out several emails a week, sometimes you know several a day about everything that's happening here at the clubhouse. If um, we have a closure, if one of the pools is getting maintained and it's gonna be closed, it's great that you uh, get that information prior to going out there and being surprised by a closed pool or a closed area. It'll save you a trip a lot of times. During the pandemic, we moved our classes to online learning so our residents can enjoy time with their instructors from home. Art classes, language classes, computer classes, a lot of these things have been moved online for residents to be able to still participate and get that um, classroom experience without having to come here to the clubhouse. To sign up for online classes, stop by the staff office or visit sendclub.com slash classes. All the information is there on how to sign up. The next session is going to start in, I think, a few weeks from now. Again, all the information is online. Check it out. If you have questions, please give us a call. Send us an email. We always get back to everybody who reaches out to us. Moving on to maintenance updates. <clears throat> We've completed 206 work orders for the month of October. Some of the things that the maintenance team completed were... Um, replacing exterior storage room door frame and door next to the ID office entrance. The old frame was rotted out. It was uh, changed, new locks are put on there and it's now an active storage room again. All interior doors of the clubhouse were repainted. The flat roof repair above the west side of the clubhouse has been completed. The lights in card room B have been upgraded to LED to provide better lighting for when we uh, open those rooms back up. The net at the volleyball court was replaced. The old net dry rotted had, uh, had holes in it and um, we replaced it with a new net. The handicap sink at the Westbury pool became detached from the wall and was repaired. All plumbing fixtures at the pools have been serviced and recalked. Repairs were made as needed. Mirrors were repaired at the Berkshire and Lynnhurst South pools. Two faucets at the Richmond pool were found to be broken and replaced. Uh, missing hooks at the Newport pool were also replaced. A leak was found in the windows at the east staircase. The wall was repaired and the windows were resealed. Some upcoming maintenance projects for this month. The fence posts and rails at all the pools will be serviced, repaired and painted as needed. Windscreens will be installed on all courts if not already done at this time. And actually it was on our schedule to do last week and I asked them not to do it because we had uh, tropical storm Etta on the way. Etta? 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 Etta was on the way. Uh, thankfully, it passed us by. Um, the pools and everything opened up today. Um, so we will get those windscreens down for you soon so your pickleballs don't go flying all over the place um, while you're playing. Um, annual maintenance will be performed at the Bocce and the Patank courts this month in preparation of the season. Gutters will be repaired at the Richmond pool. And lighting upgrades will continue in the GPG room and the GPF room. Also. Moving on to our pool update. The month of October, we completed 63 work orders regarding swimming pools. The Send Club pool team assembled and installed new area lighting at Markham, Grantham, and Westbury. The pool team returned 10 loungers and eight chairs to each pool deck as per the city order um, for the COVID-19 pandemic. The pool team repaired a water main feeding Grantham pool house struck by the landscapers. The preventative maintenance was performed on the Newport pool. A leak was addressed and the surface was acid washed. The pool team rep replaced the faulty heat pump at the Oak Ridge with the spare we had in storage. Pool team installed a six step rolling ladder for the chlorine tank. The final plumbing was performed and is fully operational. We passed our inspections on that in October. Yay. 
and uh, we ha now have a uh, active chlorine storage unit at our clubhouse here. The cool team addressed all the issues with the with heat pumps um, in preparation of the cooler weather. Two circuit boards were replaced along with four H H20 sensors that sense the water temperatures. The pool team found a leak in the main drain at the Berkshire pool and sealed it. Two smaller drips were repaired by the heat pump as well. Some upcoming projects for our pool team. All pool canopies and decks will be pressure washed. A new water shutoff for the pump rooms will be installed in Ashby and Lynnhurst North. Moving on to our fitness update. Our fitness equipment parts were replaced on 10-23-2020. The televisions installed in the group exercise room and spin room, in addition to speakers, were completed. Um, this was in preparation for permanent Zoom, Zoom classes um, to be done. We installed um, a screen and a camera in each room on the ceiling, so it's not on the floor and it won't get in the way of residents when they do re-enter these rooms for classes. Um, it's just a way that we can better serve our residents by providing more for them um, in, that re in that remote locations. Um, this week we taught 60, or this month we taught 61 classes per week, and Zoom will be go ongoing during the pandemic and continue after. Our top three classes for October were low impact aerobics with Sean, at an average of 30 students, low impact aerobics with Clyde, 29 students, and body toning and weights with Clyde, 32 students. We averaged 85 residents for the month of October, that's four, four, four plus from the month before and 65 residents on the weekends, which is 10 months from 10, 10 over the month before. So we're actually getting more participation now that um, things are starting to feel more normal. I guess. Um, some announcements and events. I'd like to remind everyone once again to sign up for our email list at sendclub.com. Keep up to date on the happening schedules and schedule changes and events and more. Thanks Thanksgiving meals are being delivered by Old Florida Cating. Contact Barbara at the diner for more information. Meals are being delivered for just $19.99 and include all the traditional trimmings. Mike, may I interrupt you a second? Yes. Um, can you also go there to eat dinner if on Thanksgiving it will be open? Yes, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention that. Thanks, Rita. They are offering seating for, for Thanksgiving dinner as well. Um, if you'd like to make a reservation to sit down and have a meal on Thanksgiving, you're more than welcome to uh, call Barbara at the diner and she will make that reservation for Thank you. Thank you. Or you can stop by there and get a meal and uh, do it at the same time. There you go. We are collecting toys again for Toys for Tots. The drop-off location is right outside of the staff office. We're taking new and unopened toys in the drop box outside the staff office by December 6th. We bring them down um, following that day in preparation for the holidays. It's a big help. It's a real feel-good thing, and we've been doing it for many, many years. It's become a tradition here. Some upcoming events. Uh, cook Along with Chef Alice. Ah. On Thursday, October... October 15th. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a, this is a re had, recap yeah. of events. I'm sorry. Cook Along with Chef Alice was on Thursday, October 15th, uh, cooking a seasonal soup and salad. We had a great turnout of 27 participants. We are going to be doing this again, so keep a lookout for the information. I know Andy is working on it with Chef Alice now. It's going to be another holiday, holiday type meal for the winter. Wednesday, November 18th, from 4.30 to 5.30, as Rita said, we have an acoustic show in the gazebo featuring Kelly and Rick Di Lorenzo. In case of inclement weather, the rain date will be Wednesday, December 20th. Second. December 2nd. December 2nd, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> December 2nd, 2020. Monday, December 28th, the outdoor movie in the bus lot will be The Greatest Showman. BJ's has returned and will be at the clubhouse on the last Wednesday of each month. This month, they, are, they were here on October 27th. They will be here again on November 18th. Send Club hosted a virtual event, Paint and Sip, with April Dubois on November 5th at 3 p.m. If you missed it, the event is being played back on Channel 98 on sendclub.com. Art kits are still avail available for purchase in the staff office. If you didn't receive one, you can go there and get everything you need to create the painting. And Broward Health North Talk went well. This month's topic was how to read food labels and reducing your sodium. The recording of this virtual event is available on Channel 98 at noon every day. And that concludes my report. Thanks, Mike. Um, just one note that for those of you that don't remember, April is the artist who painted the mural in the indoor pool. Yes, that's, that's Quite correct. Quite talented and 
quite a pleasant young lady. She is. She also teaches art classes here too. So if you're interested in taking a like a more in-depth like class a, with her, you can yeah. visit sendclub.com slash classes and check out the art classes that are available. The other question I had was, I know that um, exercise is available via Zoom. One of the comments I hear is, well, I don't have, I don't understand computers. I can't get it on my computer. But aren't they available if I just put on the TV? On our yes, there are station? some, there are, there are some classes that are still going on on Channel 98. And you can check the schedule online uh, on our website also to tell you when they're playing. Okay, that, that's great. Because then if you don't have a computer or, or whatever, or you don't understand them, you still can take part in the Zoom Yes, all, yes. There. Thank you. We tried to be um, as inclusive as for everybody as we possibly could. That's our idea. So now we're going to move under new business. And the first order of business is um, when we did the paving in the back lot, um, we added a medium, medium, medium. and uh, some sidewalks. So now, of course, we have to landscape the median <laughs> in around the sidewalks. And so to that end, Maximum, who's our landscaper of longstanding, because they're so wonderful, um, has given us an estimate to add uh, various plants, including uh, a couple of palm trees, a Song of India, bromelot, and to complete their beautiful job that they always do. Yep. And they're asking, uh, the estimate is for a sum of $3,060. So I need a um, motion to accept this uh, bid. And then we'll open it for questions. Do I have anybody that uh, make that motion? Don't I'll be make, shy, folks. I'll Thank make, you, Phil. So I'll Phil, make, Phil and Susan Double second it. And uh, motion. You lost the, lost your volume. Okay, uh, that we accept <laughs> the, that, that we accept the um, bid for uh, not to exceed uh, three thousand. $200, Mike, is that okay? Fine, yeah, that's fine. Yes. You know, okay. Just to add on to that, it also includes sod to um, put next to the new sidewalk so that there's no uh, weird step down. We have yellow cones there now um, to mark Good. the area. No and, broken uh, ankle. And he, really? he, he already, yeah, exactly. He already fixed all the irrigation over there and um, he's ready to start, so. This is, not, this is not part of the uh, budget that was already approved? It, I it, it, it's in our budget. It's in the paving. It's in the paving budget. It's in the it's paving. In budget. The paving. There's no need. Okay. So there is no need for a, a motion then. Okay. So, well, we're in the middle of it, so we're going to complete it. All in favor? Any other discussion? Hesh. No, I was in favor. You're in favor. I'm, I'm okay. jumping the gun. Thank you. Uh, all in favor? Signify. Anyone opposed? Okay. Mike, go ahead and do that, please. And the other order of new business is that our vice president has been hard at work with his committee on some new work. So I'm going to turn it over to Phil. And he's going to explain just what he's been doing. Well, thank you, Rita. Um, actually, it's the entire committee, entire board. I am happy to announce today to the village residents that after months and several hours of work, from all of us really, members of the St. Club Board, Norma, the property manager who helped us a lot, and our director, Mike Berman, and especially Andy Hackett. I have to give credit to Andy. Um, he has done a lot for us and, and, and it was extremely helpful. What we're announcing today is we now have established a new application process. This new application is designed to streamline the entire background investigation and approval process and establishing uniform documents and procedures for all individual involved. In addition, in a third, in a, excuse me, and in addition, 
effort to curtail the lack of control regarding the acceptability of service and emotional support animal throughout the village, a new procedure has been implemented within this application. The new approval process will allow the buildings to eliminate independent background investigation for new residents, both owners and renters. Sink Club administration will be performing the background and credit checks previously performed by these service management companies. This new process will take effect December 1st of this year, 2020. Sink Club will require all new residents and renters to complete, complete this new ID application. The application has been designed to give more update information with less paperwork to the building board of directors so that they can make their decision easier. Building Association Board of Directors will continue to receive a copy of the ID application and certificate of approval directly from Sanklum. The new certificate of approval has been simplified and notarization is no longer required as the building seal will survive. So building president will not have to go outside this village to get notarized and seal the, the, the certificate of approval. Resident information, informa resident emergency information will be updated during this time as well through an improved form. Building association will receive a copy of this form for their own records, which is something the buildings never got before. Our goal, especially with the increase of health risks of the community is to simplify procedures, reduce necessary travel, and provide online resource to our residents. All document forms and application will be available at the clubhouse ID office, at our staff office. All local real estate office will be will have will be informed and given supplies of this new application. It will also be available directly on our website. So if you have an owner or renter from out of state, out of the country, they could go directly to syncclub.com and download the paperwork they need to fill out. Mike Berman, our executive director, will have a PowerPoint presentation at the Cookfeed meeting on November 17th. All building board of directors in care of the president in the coming days will be receiving a sample package of all the newly created documents in the mail. We hope that all building presidents and board of directors receive this new procedures with open arms. This is to help you make your job a little easier. So uh, I, this has been a pet project of mine for many years as most of the board member knows. And we have worked hard in getting this completed and we're in ready to get it going. So thank you. Thank you, Phil, and thank you to the committee and everyone who worked so hard on this. Um, it, it's a much needed document and I hope everyone appreciates it. On that same note, anybody who moves into our village or um, when they go to revalidate their ID, when that comes up, will receive a new copy of our CVE handbook so that you will have it with all the phone numbers, all the rules, etc. A very good document. Um, anyone else have any other new business they'd like to bring up? Hearing none, any old business for us old folks? <laughs> no, no. Does anybody have anything they'd like to bring up before we move on to adjourn? I just actually just got a, uh, just now an email came through. The next Art and Sip with April Dubois is going to be December 9th. Oh, thank you. Information to follow. Okay. As, as well as the, uh, the the drink of the month and the uh, image that will be, they will be painting. I don't know which one is more important, but. <laughs> <laughs> the priority street. <laughs> Thank I'd you, like to say uh, two small things, if I could. Yeah, sure. Um, today, I want to wish all my 
brothers and sisters of the Marine Corps, happy birthday. It's 245 Ooh. years that the Marine Marshall Corps time. has served this country. So cyber five to all of my brothers and sisters out there. But most important of all, um, you all saw the election process last week. It was the biggest turnout that this country ever had. And the reason we are free to vote for whatever side you wanted, it's our veterans who serve and died for this country to make these elections possible. So please, tomorrow is Veterans Day. If you see a vet, take a vet. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I applaud you, Phil. Thank you. Well said, Phil. Um, the other thing that we forgot to mention. Oh, um, just so that you know that on uh, also on December 10th in the afternoon, and there's lots of information forthcoming, we will have a most unique menorah lighting in the parking lot. It will be socially distanced. You can take part in it in your car. And like I said, more information will be forthcoming, but just put a little star on your calendar so we'll observe that also. And our other holiday lights are in the process or have been completed, I'm not sure. They were because finishing up yesterday at four o'clock when I was heading okay. home. So it, yeah, it's gonna look great. <laughs> and, and most of us really truly enjoy the lights. So let's be thankful of that. Great. So anyone else like to chime in? Hearing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? Susan. I'll make the motion to adjourn the meeting of November 10th. Thank Excuse you. me, aren't, aren't we going to hear the questions from the... Yes, we do that after. After them. I have them right here. Okay. I, I didn't want to miss that. No, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> they're, they're charming. I'll second Thank up. you, Phil. Phil seconds the adjournment motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, meeting adjourned at uh, 10, 10 a.m. And we will move on to the questions that were submitted and then sent to me. Uh, the first couple of questions dealt with, uh, could you outline the current situation with regard to the clubhouse ownership and our monthly payments? There are all sorts of stories circulating through emails that should be clarified. In light of our current COVID restrictions, your reply would be appreciated. And I did hit on that at the beginning of the meeting. If you go to sendclub.com and look under documents, there is a letter and the answers to, I hope, all your questions. So if they're not all answered, come back to us and we'll keep trying. Um, the next question... Many people, <laughs> it comes from um, Art, who lives in Ventnor C, and he says, many people have asked me why they have to pay monthly charges for the gym when they're so old and ready to die. And on social <laughs> security disability, it's not fair, and I agree. Well, Art, you know, this is the United States of America, and we all have things to bear. And some of us who have not had children, in the public schools and some of us who have had children in the public schools, but now they're way older than that, still pay school taxes. That's just the way we do things here. And I'm sorry that we have people in our gym and I, I happen to know some of them, they're over a hundred years old. That's probably why they're still alive because they do go to the gym regularly. So don't give up yet, hang in there and keep participating, it keeps you young. The next question comes from Kathy uh, Powell. And she said that about six months ago, she talked to myself and Mike, and we promised to we would get more outdoor activities such as golf, putting, chip area, chipping, area croquet, badminton, etc. Well, we do, we have added bad, badminton uh, equipment is available in our staff office, just Go in there and you can check it out. If we see that it is really popular, popular, thank you, then we will 
in, invest in finding a designated spot for it. Um, as far as golf goes, we're still working on that. We have not taken possession of the old um, golf pro shop in, in the surrounding area. It just takes more than wanting something for it to happen. So we, we have not forgotten that. These are extraordinary times. When will the theater and decent movies be, uh, be available? Well, I honestly can't answer those questions either. I see that uh, movie theaters are starting to open, so maybe they are starting to release some better films. I've never been so glad that I have a Netflix subscription <laughs> than I ever thought I would. So, yeah, it, it, it's, it's extraordinary times, folks. We're, we're trying. You got one all, oh, Linda Hockberg. Hi, Linda. And she wants to thank Send Club for providing the dancers the space to dance in the bus lot. And uh, she's got enough lighting out there, so it's successful. They look forward to the day that they can safely re-enter the clubhouse and provide spaces for our line dances. We look forward to it also. Believe me, we do. Uh, this next question, again, deals with, do I have any idea when guests will be able to access our swimming pools, our gym, and our classes? And the state has just extended the... powers to extend the rules. And so at this point in time, um, we'll be till the second, January 2nd of this coming year. So it will include Thanksgiving, it will include Christmas. And uh, many of us are very sad. We're not gonna be with our families and uh, we're just gonna have to try to get over it. Thank goodness we're starting to hear about vaccines and hopefully, to be available to all of us and we can get on with our lives. Well, for right now, no, we do not allow visitors in our recreational facilities. Uh, the next one, someone wants to know, uh, Debbie Jacobs from Richmond, why isn't the library open to the clubhouse, in the clubhouse? The library is not open because the library is run by volunteers and they don't feel safe. And I don't think sharing books at this time uh, would be a safe process. So until those ladies and gentlemen who run our library, who are volunteers, want to come back and work in the library, and we will, we will let everyone in the village know when that happens. The next question comes from, oh, um, I think this is from Ellen. Yeah, Ellen in uh, Newport V wants to know uh, about the tree labels that are being placed around the village. And she'd like to be involved in that process. Ellen, you need to uh, know, call or write to uh, master management because they're in charge of that. Also the same answer for Peter from Oak Ridge U who wants to know the current plans for the old golf course. I'm just assuming that the Current plans are the same ones that they've announced for the last year or two, and that would be um, to make it a park, Central Park, I believe was what it was going to be called. And uh, that's master management also. We don't have anything to do with that. So check out at CVEDB, I believe, is their website. And uh, Arnold from Upminster wants to know if when a vaccine is available, can we hire a few nurses for our CVE to give shots at uh, on our property? Well, we make our property available, but we will not have anything to do with giving shots or that's not what we do. We don't enter into that health problem, but we sure are looking forward to finding out about them. Bruce from Newport G says that, uh, what are we going to do about all the iguanas? Because there's so many in his area and they're eating the bushes. I understand that, Bruce. I really do. And uh, But I'd say you should talk to your building and 
in uh, maybe your neighboring buildings and see what can be done on a, on a private basis. That's not our property. We don't have anything. We also have iguanas and we've tried several methods. Good luck. We just, we're living with them. So, and that concludes all the questions. I uh, hope that uh, we answered your questions. Please come in uh, or go online, submit your questions to us. We'll try our best to help you out. Okay. And that concludes our meeting for November. Our next meeting is December 8th. Same place, same time, 9.30 a.m. Uh, on Zoom. Take care. Have a safe month. Please stay healthy. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> thank you.